Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell, my hair is a little bit different. I dyed it black. I'm showing you guys how I actually did this at home. And it was actually really, really easy. I was kind of scared during the middle of it. Uh, I've dyed my hair before, but I don't know, I just got nervous. But I really love how the color came out. Like, it's so beautiful and vibrant and shiny. And, um... I just love it and um, it was super easy so if you guys want to see how I got my hair like this then keep on watching alright guys so first I gotta open the box um, this is the John Frieda London Paris New York luminous black precision foam color it's luminous blue black 2a if that helps any of you guys as a reference um, this is a cool black shade with ash toned, which is perfect for my skin because warm tones actually look weird on me. Uh, I'm going to read the instructions and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is pretty, pretty simple. Uh, I'm just going to take you to the, through the steps. So first, uh, I comb my hair and I put a towel around my shirt and stuff so it won't get that dirty, but it definitely will. I usually put a garbage bag, but I ran out of garbage bag. So, I'm using this. Um, what else? Oh, and also, I almost forgot to do this. I'm putting Vaseline, or you could put any like water-resistant cream or oil, over your face, like the sides of your face where your hair is going to touch and your neck just so it doesn't, the color doesn't stain your skin. So I'm going to do that right now. Can you see where I'm putting Vaseline all over, don't forget the ears. So there's three little steps, usually um, all box dyes have the three steps. So this is step one, this is called the developer. So uh, I'm going to replace the cap and put step two, the colorant, inside the developer. So I'm putting all of it in there. Oh shoot. That's how it looks. And then I'm putting the cap back on. And then it says to tilt it five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And it specifically says do not shake. Uh, step three is just like a conditioner that you use inside. Uh, the shower but then it says to replace with this nozzle so I'm, I'm gonna do that <clears throat> and then it basically says to go ham it clicks in and then you would squeeze it you don't like press it you squeeze it and then foam comes out and it says to start from the roots down but I don't know why they do that because the roots are always what gets the color easier so I'm starting I always start from the bottom I don't know if I'm too far I always start from the bottom and then work my way up because the roots always get the color plus I'm like blonde on the bottom half so I'm just gonna do that <coughs> And I'm just gonna go in and it says to use your hands so I don't need um, this little thing because I didn't realize this was foam but um, whatever we're gonna use what we can um, and I had like my little mixing bowl and everything all right so so that's how it looks I'm just gonna start I guess I don't know if that's enough for my whole head. Look how little that is. And I don't even have long hair like that. Eesh. It's 
uh, actually, it says to use like tennis ball size amounts. So that's a good amount. I'm just going to do it all to the bottom of the head. Let's see if that's better. Yep, that's better. And this is to do it until the whole thing is saturated. <clears throat> so I'm going to do um, a light layer um, in each section and then hopefully it'll all be saturated by the time it's done. If not, I'm going to have to go back. Still feels pretty dry. Um, getting a little worried. Don't know what's happening here. the bottom is all saturated. You know? Because that's what honestly matters. Okay, it's getting a little bit foamy now. I'm less stressed. Make sure I'm getting all the back and the bottom. But the back is really important because that's where people get it really patchy. So just make sure you're getting all the hair. supposed to be frothy but it's not frothing up I'm gonna search if that's a problem all right after much panicking and then researching um, because it said that my hair was supposed to be frothy which means like really foamy and you could see it but it doesn't make sense that only happens if you have really thin hair because like foam absorbs into hair and my hair is pretty thick it's not like the thickest but it's pretty thick so that's fine. It's saturated and it's crazy all over here. You can see all the <clears throat> the tint, but um, what's it called? It's been it's been 30 minutes already, and it's time for me to wash this off. And I also bought a hair glaze um, by John Frieda to Luminous Clear Hair Glaze, which I always wanted to glaze my hair, so I'm pretty excited about this. Hopefully, it comes out really shiny. I just put it in the shower like after I shampoo and condition my hair and then I put this on for three minutes and then style as desired and then I'm going to show you guys how it comes out when it's wet and then I'll probably like blow dry it and um straighten it because I want to see how it looks straight I don't want to curl it yet curl it yet because it always looks nice curly um no matter what you really do so um yeah I'm gonna do that and I'll be back Alright guys, so this is how it looks. Oh, uh, it's pretty black. I like how it looks. I also did the glaze. I can't tell much of a difference with it. Uh, I would have to see it dry and how shiny it is when it's dry. But I, I like how the color came out. Also, I'm tanner because I just self-tanned. And my palms are orange, so if you see that, yeah, they're orange. I have to get rid of that because I didn't have a tanning mitt. But I knew I would be so pale compared to the black so um I self-tanned I'm gonna blow dry my hair 
and then straighten it and then show you guys the finished results and I'm gonna do my makeup and stuff because I'm gonna film other videos but stay tuned for the end guys I am obsessed with how it came out look how pretty it is oh my god the color is so vibrant and it's oh, I love it guys um, the glaze actually really worked. My hair is so pin straight right now and shiny. Um, so my main problem when I straighten my hair would get really straight because I already have straight hair. But <clears throat> what would happen is that I would have a lot of little frizzies and it wouldn't look s like sleek and silky like this. Like you could see how sleek it is. Oh, I'm obsessed with it, guys. Like, oh my god. That really worked and I was so worried I was like um, I don't think this is gonna work like in the middle of doing it I thought it wasn't gonna work but this is beautiful oh my gosh so this is how it looks um, so this is like the blunt cut that I did and this is how it looks in the back it's just so pretty I hope this camera is doing it justice but um, I also did my makeup. I think I'm going to film a Thanksgiving look. So hopefully I'll have that up <clears throat> like before Thanksgiving. But I really, really love how it came out. It's so pretty. Ugh. I love it. Alright guys, so I don't know how, but I forgot to film an outro. I just stopped recording. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, of course... Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And check out my other videos, guys. I've made a couple. And um, if you like this video, you probably like uh, some of my other videos. But anyways, that's it. See you guys next week. Bye.